Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm doing a video review on the Samsung Chromebook. And is it worth buying? Does it replace your laptop? And what the pros and cons are. I got it for 250 bucks at the Google Play Store. Received it in a few days. Uh, pretty harmless, uh, seamless process. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you the outside first and work ourselves in. Right here is the headphone and microphone jack. So if your headset has a microphone, plug it in right there. Um, standard SD card right there. You got a speaker right here and a speaker right here. You got a mystery hole right there. I think it might be the reset. Nothing in the front and nothing on the side, the right side. It's super thin. It's so thin that my finger literally hides it. And it's super light, almost as light as a tablet, like a 10 inch tablet. Um, right here is a 3 3G card, it goes in there. So if you have T-Mobile, I think it's, um, I'm not sure if it's compatible with T-Mobile, but T-Mobile has, I think, the best deal for 3G, unlimited uh, internet. So you could take this thing worldwide and have internet. Um, USB, SS USB, and another USB port, which is cool. That's pro for me, that has two USB ports and 3G. Another pro is it has HDMI output, so you have HD audio and video out to your HD TV. So if you're not interested in that uh, 12 inch screen, I think it's almost 12 inches, the screen size. I'm gonna post the specs, by the way, too, processor and RAM. Uh, right here, this charging port, however, for me is a con. Look how fragile and skinny that looks. I had a Sony Vio that my son tripped on the power cord and it bent and messed up my charging port bad. So that's why I have an HP G6 because their ports are really more durable. So I'm worried about that. It seems fragile. Uh, seven hours battery life, by the way, if you were wondering. The build is aluminum and plastic build. This is plastic right here, it feels like. Um, right here, the Samsung is in Chrome, and the Chrome logo is not in Chrome. Kind of makes sense. If that was in Chrome, this would be in Chrome. Chrome should be in Chrome. Just makes sense. I'm going to just open it up. Another thing I wanted to show you also is um, the keys. It just looks like an Apple, a MacBook. Um, I don't know. Is it me, or does it look like uh, an Apple? Right here. Uh, quality, jumbo size mouse pad. That's a pro for me. Notice there's no left button or right button because the left click you can touch anywhere on the screen. That's a left click. Anywhere on the mouse pad is a left click. And you hear it. You hear that noise? You feel the left click and you also hear it. That's a plus for me. I have to hear and feel it for me to know that it's working. There's no people are like, hey, how do you right click? Well, to right click you have to use two fingers and push down at the same time. And that's how you change your wallpaper. Just like that. And it comes with a bunch of like other stuff. So let's go click on one. I'm gonna show you. Let's click on nature. Here's a cool picture of a bird. So it's pretty responsive as you can see. Screen is pretty HD. I think it's 1080p. I, I, I don't know, that quality is amazing looking. I don't know if you guys can tell. I have the camera, I'm gonna show you the camera. It has a microphone right here so you can talk. Uh, ambient light detector, I believe, it adjusts to your screen and uh, the light, LED light, so it knows that you know the camera's on. So I'm going to show you the camera. So you download the app for the camera at um, not the Google Play Store, but the Google Chrome Web Store. Right here, that's where you get the apps for your uh, Chrome OS operating system. So let's click on bunch of free apps too so this is really great for kids because it's tons of games and as you can see you can turn up the brightness too see how bright it is but if you want to see battery life you just lower the brightness and lower the volume see? and there's little light there's not too much light in this room but it's really good at camera Pretty decent camera. And there's a fun toy camera one too. You have special effects, which is really cool. 
we X, X out of that. So yeah, again, to left click, you just like that. To um, to drag and drop something, you hold that down with one finger, and then you go like that, kind of like that. So that's how that works. So if that light goes off, then it's off. To, if that light is still on, all you have to do is to end task, shift and escape. And as your task manager, as you guys probably had it with Windows computers, Windows computers is control shift escape. But with Chrome Bucks, it's shift escape. All right. So if you noticed right here, there's no function key because function key is not really that functional. No F keys. F to F keys. Turn on and off right here. Just hold the power button down to turn it off. Turn on. The connect this is, it's really easy to set this up. I was about to do like how to connect and set up a Chromebook, but the only thing you have to do is just sign in your Google account, username and password, and it syncs up your whole account to your Chromebook. It's like easy. Volume up, volume down, mute, brightness, lower brightness. If you lower it too much, the screen goes black. So, and then uh, this is toggle your web pages, uh, maximize screen, uh, your page, refresh, forward, back button, escape. Um, the keys are awesome. They're spaced out perfectly. Jumbo size keys. I like that. Jumbo size mouse pad. I love that. And if you look down here. You notice that I have tons of apps down here. This is a launcher, by the way. And you're like, how do you, how'd you get all that? Well, it's easy. The only thing you have to do is click on your apps. On Remember, to download your apps, go to Chrome Web Store. So go to Chrome Web Store to get apps for your Chromebook, not the Google Play Store. Um, you can get buy movies and music at the uh, Google Play Store, though. So let's open up the apps right there. And if you want any of these on your launcher, only thing you have to do is instead of left clicking, you want to right click. So you do one of those deals. And then you want to pin to launcher. And now it should be here. If you don't see it there, click on the arrow. And there it is. Because it ran out of room. And that's pretty much it. Um, it does have 100 gigs of uh, gigabytes of Google Drive in the cloud for two years free. Seven hours battery life, depends if you're uh, watching movies in the volume. The webcam is pretty nice. It does have Bluetooth. Uh, you can't print, as of right now, I had a hard time, you can't print off printers as of right now. Uh, there's cloud printing, but I had a hard time trying to set that up. There's no .com button key. I wish they had a .com key, maybe for future. Guys, Google anyone from Google has contact. Let them know. Uh, .com key is a must for me, at least. Uh, as of right now, I don't think you can play any high-end games. Most high-end games are made for Mac or Windows, mainly Windows computers. Netflix needs an update for it to work. It's so new. Netflix, you can't play Netflix movies yet. Kind of sucks. I'm gonna show you what it says. So I click on that. And it gives you a little thing. It says, Dear Chrome OS device user, it's not supported, blah, blah, blah. So I'm kind of like upset about that. It kind of sucks. I have Netflix. I subscribe to Netflix. So I kind of wanted to have that. I'm going to show you right here video. Let's click on a video. So I got uh, Transformers at play. And I'm not going to show you too much of it because I don't want to get sued to hell. But I'm just going to show you a little bit of it so uh, you hear the quality and see the quality. And it depends on your internet service. It, it boots up pretty seamless. And the volume. Check out the volume. Let's forward this a little bit. Okay, now I hit play. R. Alright, walking healthy, right? It's all the way up. And the brightness no, no, is all the way up. No, 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 no,
See, I don't understand why they put the speakers on the bottom. I think the speakers should have been here. But as you can see, it, it plays pretty seamless. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what happens. Thanks for listening. So there it is. See right there? It doesn't even stutter. I don't have any problems with it for it stuttering. Let's go ahead and uh, X out of that. Escape. And then let's go ahead and click out of that. So, I don't know. I like it. I think uh, it is a nice secondary computer. Uh, Chromebook. It does not replace your laptop by all means. Not yet. Yeah, there's some updates that they need to do for um, actually replace your laptop. They're getting there though. They're actually catching up quite fast in the market. And uh, I don't know. Let me know if you have a Chromebook or if you want one. I'll go ahead and post a comment below. I'll answer you. But as of right now, I think it's a really great thing for traveling and for kids to uh, learn. You know, there's tons of free learning apps and games and stuff like that. So I recommend it for mainly those people. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. Subscribe. Tampa Tech.